Hey guys, I was asked to create this kind of instructional video based off of another video that I posted. Uh, that last one was only about like a minute and it kind of showed what it looked like uh, for students adding notes into their notebook. So I wanted to go ahead and create this instructional video to help you guys be able to recreate the same for your students. Okay, so to get started, uh, I felt it best to go ahead and go all the way to creating your notebook. So before we get to the notes, we want to go ahead and get it started. Uh, personally, I like to use Canva for my uh, notebook covers. Uh, they're just simple, uh, easy, and it's free. So let me go ahead and show you guys what that looks like uh, here on their website. And I'm gonna kind of walk you through that process of a couple pre-made ones. So you'll see I have in my creative designs, my student notebook. Uh, if you are gonna use Canva, uh, whenever you do create a design, Make sure you go ahead and create the size uh, to what a normal like sheet of paper would be, or else it's just going to be super large, I found. Okay, so I created my notebook using all the graphics and tools that they have. And once you have it created, you just want to go ahead and download it as your PDF. Uh, and this is going to be the cover to your notebook. Okay, so you'll see that I have the download there. That's my student notebook. And now that I have my notebook, I'm ready to go ahead and assign it using Kami. So let's go ahead and pull up Kami. And when I'm here, because I have it downloaded on my computer, I do want to open it from my computer, but I could also do that by just clicking and dropping it. And you'll see that my student notebook cover is now there. It doesn't have any blank pages, so I can go ahead and even add a one page to get my students started off. Now, because it is their own notebooks, they're going to be able to add more pages to their own copies. Uh, I'm just going to be able to check them. OK, so this is my notebook. I got the cover. I have a page ready to go for them. Uh, Schoology is new to me this year, so I haven't had a lot of opportunity to play around with it. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in Google Classroom. And hopefully as the year continues and I get to play around a little bit more with Schoology, I'll be able to show you guys what it'll be. So I went ahead and I created the assignment in Google Classroom. I can select the class that I want it for, the students I want it for. Uh, for example, I had one social studies class um, where I was teaching Texas history and U.S. history. So I had two different notebooks I was using. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and call this student notebook. And this is brand new. I haven't even seen this feature, uh, the feature restrictions. I think this is incredible. So way to go, Cami, for uploading that. OK, and I'm not assigning any points to it. There's no due date, uh, no scheduled time to it. But I do like to keep them organized, so I'm going to add it to my assignments. And I'm going to make sure each student gets their own copy. So then when I'm ready, I'm going to go ahead and hit assign. I've already pushed it through to my Google Classroom, uh, so it is already there. So let's go ahead and head to my Google Classroom so we can check it out. OK, so in our Google Classroom, you'll see that I've posted student notebook. This is as a teacher, I'm able to access it. So go ahead and click on it, and you'll see the students that I have assigned it to. You see my brother, my wife, and a pseudo account. So this will allow me to click on each student's notebook. So throughout the year, as they're adding to it, uh, I use it a lot for, for writing. Uh, their writing notebooks, I'm able to pull it up. Or even if I'm just presenting their stuff uh, to the rest of the class, this has allowed me to kind of pull it up switch between my different students and kind of access them all one at a time. Um, grading with Cami allows me to kind of annotate and mark up on it as well. Okay, so I know that was a very fast walkthrough on creating that notebook, uh, but you guys can see kind of how easy it was. And if you have any questions, go ahead and reach out. I'll continue with my second part of the video of adding notes in just a second. 